There's really not much you need to do to get your application to use Memcache to save and get entity data if you're using Objectify, but it's still useful to know how to write code to use Memcache. So we're going to use Memcache to save and get announcements about conferences that are nearly sold out. You can imagine, for example, that your web app might display a banner ad to encourage people to sign up for conferences that are nearly sold out. There might be other things you want to announce on your website too. Maybe if you get a special speaker for a particular conference, or you want to announce a special promotion. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to create announcements about conferences that are nearly sold out, because the goal here is to learn how to use Memcache. Announcements, though, are a good example of the kind of thing that you might want to save in Memcache without saving them to the data store. If the announcement gets evicted from Memcache, there's no loss of real data, and it doesn't really matter. No business transactions are affected, no one loses their place at a conference, and the next announcement will likely come along very soon anyway. Announcements are very transient and don't need to be saved for the long term, and they don't need to be backed up. So they're perfect candidates to be saved in Memcache and only in Memcache. They don't need to go in the data store. That way you get all your announcements without using any quota. So you're going to be adding the announcement class to your project. It's a very simple class. We need it because endpoint functions can't return string objects. So we're going to put the text for the announcement in the message field. Note that this class is not annotated as at entity. We don't want to save the announcements in the data store. 